In this video, I'll teach you how to create a masonry layout similar to Pinterest. So in this example website, whistlerstreettattoo.com.au slash about dash us, you can see on their about us page, we have this really nice layout similar to Pinterest where every single height of the image is very different between pictures, yet they are stacked on top of each other in this masonry grid layout similar to Pinterest. So let's go ahead and do this in Webflow. So the first thing you may do, especially if you're a beginner, is you may actually add a grid. So we can go ahead and just start with a grid just to see why this will not work. So typically you might think this is a grid layout. We can go ahead and put three columns across, for example, and give this class of test-grid. Go ahead and change the width to 100%. And then from here, what we can do is we can go ahead and just add our images directly into the grid like so uh, we can choose an image and we can go ahead and just paste the image that we have so again the images that i'm pasting are all different sizes let's go ahead and just copy this and paste it nine times and then from here i'm going to go ahead and give each one of these a class so sorry i'm just going to go back real quick and i'm going to give this a class always give everything a class it's just a really good habit so we can just go grid image item and we can go ahead and just change this to uh, a different image after we copied and pasted it nine times so right now i've just uploaded nine different images of different sizes so we can see what's going on and if i just replace these images slowly you would you can already see the issue with a grid and this includes cms as well um, if you guys are advanced and understand how cms works you can already see the problem that we have so let's just quickly change some of these images to be unique like so change this one to this change this one to this and i change i've already used this image my bad let me change it to two three four five six seven eight i think i'm missing one image let's go back to sketch and i think i'm missing this image here so i'll go ahead and upload this image as well and i'll change this image to this and I'll also change this image to this. So I've gone ahead and uploaded nine unique images with different height specifically. And you can already tell by using a grid layout, this is just not gonna work. So for example, we can align everything to the top, but you can see that everything is just starting at the top and everything is just sectioned off in rows. So the better way to do this is actually just to, instead of using grid, just leave it as the first one, which is block. And then everything by default is stacking on top of each other but what you can do is you can scroll down on the right hand side and where it says position uh sorry where it says typography right here more type options we can see that there's this column field right here and now what we can do is we can type in three because we want a three column layout hit enter and you'll notice that everything looks a lot better everything's stacking on top of each other as we want so what we can also do is click onto this three dot icon here and we can go ahead and dictate uh, a couple of things, specifically the gap. So we can go ahead and change this gap to 10 pixels, for example. And you'll notice that everything is spaced out 10 pixels. And we can also change the, the width as well, but I'm just gonna leave it. Um, and typically what I do next is I go ahead and just click onto one of the images. And I can go ahead and just add a bottom margin of 10 pixels as well. And you'll notice if I preview this, we now have a masonry grid layout. So everything is automatically calculated. Everything looks much, much better. And this is how you achieve this specific look. And just keep in mind, this also works with CMS. So as you can see right here, I've created a CMS collection called Pinterest layout. And in each of these CMS items, I've essentially uploaded, uploaded the exact same images as you saw right here. And we can go ahead and go into a collection and just test this out. So in my container, I'm gonna go ahead and type in collections. I'm gonna go ahead and point my collections to the Pinterest layout. And then from here, we can actually just use the exact same classes. So this test grid, uh, maybe it's not applicable name anymore. So we can go ahead and type in test masonry layout and just copy this. And we can go into the collections and where it says collection list, we can go ahead and apply the exact same class. And you'll notice that it looks like this. And now what we can potentially do is instead of adding an image, we can actually add a light box. And from here, what we can do is we can give this light box a name. So right here at the very bottom, I'm clicking light box link. 
we can call it CMS light box and we'll give it a width of 100% and the height can remain auto. Then with the thumbnail image, we can go ahead and just call the exact same class as we did before, which is grid image item. Or we can just give it a new class of light box image thumb and also give this a width of 100%. And then from here, what we can do is we can go into this gear icon and we can pull the image in from the CMS item, like so. And the next thing is we can go ahead and add that 10 pixel bottom to this specific class because we didn't use the exact same classes before, like so. And you'll notice that the CMS is now having this awesome masonry grid layout. And what I've done as a bonus is I've added this as a light box. So when the user clicks onto an image, it then opens up that image in a light box. So what we actually need to do as well is just hit settings and then right here where it says media we want to click this plus icon and we want to go ahead and click that image so we're pulling in from that image. So firstly we're pulling in the thumbnail image from the CMS image and then we're pulling in the pop-up main image from the same CMS image. So now if we click on it you can see here's the robot, here's the desert guy, here's the AI which is going to be taken all over the world so prepare for that. Um, and the next thing is we can also give all our images a certain group or name right here and because everything's already in a collection it would all link together so for example we can give this a class or a name of um, AI robot hit enter and now what you'll notice is if I click onto a specific image because they're all in the exact same collection we can see we have this light box effect at the very bottom and now all the images are in a light box effect. So super, super cool stuff. I hope you guys found this video very, very helpful and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want more Webflow videos and design videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. I'll be releasing new videos every week and I'll see you guys there.